Amber Midthunder, who stars in the new Predator film called Prey, is now attacking fans for criticizing the film by saying that they have no idea what they're talking about, but then she goes to defend the film by accidentally revealing how the film is indeed woke. This is very hilarious how this all completely backfired on her. Let's get into this entire story and see what's going on. So, the actress responded to this particular line of criticism against Prey during a recent interview. Um... So she was asked by the editor uh, what she thought of the haters. People are always going to say stuff, but that's just noise. Honestly, these people have no idea what they're talking about. Mid Thunder then turned to explain, First of all, I feel really proud of our movie, and I think director Dan is an incredible filmmaker. He has made something that people can eat their words over. I think a lot of people thought our movie would be some super woke, F the patriarchy kind of a story. But that's not what it's about at all. It's not a girl defying what men say she can and can't do. <laughs> Which is... I mean, I'm sorry. That, that's just not true. But it's literally an, an individual who feels called to something. And the people who know her don't think that she is... That is her calling. That is so much more personal. And, I think, as a character, harder to deal with than anything. According to Mid Thunder, this is where it gets really hilarious, much of this criticism was based on the fact that people don't uh, know a lot about Native history, period. So they don't know what kind of warriors we were. And then she goes on to talk about how Comanches were great warriors, which is what literally no one was disputing. They were known for being some of the fiercest warriors of all, and they did have female warrior society, so there were women that fought and hunted. Which is just not true, okay? Now, there might have been outliers of female warriors. That might have been a thing. But there was no female warrior society. Um, so, yeah, I think you look at that and you just tell yourself, all right, whatever. People are always going to say stuff. I'm proud of what we did. So then we get to where she accidentally exposes the fact that this film is a woke film and Let's just get into that, because this is where it gets really funny. To this end, added Mid Thunder, rather than espousing a woke message, she focused herself on making sure the film brought positive representation. There's that word. To the Comanche peoples. So this film is all about representation. There's never a moment that I'm not thinking about representation, or just what that accomplishes, especially in a movie like this, how it's representing indigenous peoples, and that what and what that might mean, or how people might receive that, or feel about being represented by it. She's already said representation, like, three times in this, like, little paragraph. To me, that was the most important part of making the movie. She then recalled every- Okay, this is where it gets really crazy. This is- exactly one of the problems about this film she then recalled every single day i was coming to work and what i would think about from when i woke up to when i went to bed was how is this representing native people how is this representing comanche people and i just really hoped that indian country would like it because that to me was where it started that was where i felt like it lives and dies and then we can go from there so Obviously, she, like, at the end here, it completely just flips over. Like, she completely flips her whole argument about it being not woke upside down by then explaining that this is indeed woke, and she looked at this entire film as a woke project for representation, a vehicle for representation, for identity politics. Now, like, I don't have a problem with people being proud of their ancestry and wanting that to shine through authentically in a film. I don't have a problem with that. I don't, I wouldn't say that this film authentically represents, um, you know, a lot of the Comanche culture, but all of that aside, you know, this is something that, that she is doing. She's looking at this film through the lenses of woke ideology, even if she isn't acknowledging it with some of the other things like F the patriarchy. She didn't want men to tell her what she can or cannot do, which is all part of what I would say is part of the movie as well. So, uh, you know, even the comments, yeah, I, like, yeah, this film isn't the most wokest of woke films. I would say that this film isn't like super woke. It is woke, but I wouldn't say it's super woke. But there's a lot of people that are in the comments that are like, yeah, like this, like, yeah, no one is doubting that the Comanche were great warriors and no one would call prey woke if we could just find those accounts in the Comanche history of young female Comanche successfully hunting predators. The movie was so unbelievably by its own 
was so unbelievably by his own scale. In fact, even after giving her superpowers, they had to make the Predator forget it had high-tech weaponry to allow her to win. Um, so, yeah, exactly. Like, this is exactly what we continue to see. And now she is just completely denying something that is just, like, actually something that is true so it's hilarious to me let me know what you think about this in the comments below what do you think about what amber mid thunder has to say about prey and everything else hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon